Welcome back to This Versus That. I'm here with Mr. Chris Forsberg. Yeah, buddy. And we have two completely opposite things in line. Yeah, we got a Can-Am Maverick, tiny little car, but we got also this full-blown race truck Pro 4X, twice the power, but twice the weight. If you ever wanted to see somebody get drugged through dog water, <laughs> this is gonna be the special for you. Let him eat. I got a Ryan Gosling jaw into this. <laughs> Just covered in fat also. Oh, oh, you rolling? Yo, what's up, Corey? You brought this out for us. Tell us a little bit about what you brought us, who you are, what's going on with it. Yep, I'm Corey Willis with PPI, and this is a Can-Am Maverick R. It's a 1,000cc turbocharged engine. This car was actually known as the lake bed build because I did, bought it at King of the Hammers and JW Performance, Jason Wyatt and his team, built it on the lake bed. So it's still got a little bit of King of Hammers lake bed oh, dust like on it. Oh, like this recent past King of the Hammers? Yeah, okay. that's fresh okay. Hammers dust. One of the big things that a lot of the UTV guys were saying that they were leaving most of the car stock, which obviously that's evolved since then. They were just upgrading the wheel and tire package to get some good ground clearance. Right. Is that kind of like your same thing? Is that still a thing or? I actually pre-ran on the OEM Can-Am wheels and I didn't have any issues. They were pretty really? tough, but uh, we went ahead and you know I wanted to have a little bit more strength. So we have been running Yokohamas and testing with Yokohama for a minute with these tires and uh, I love them. I was feeling them earlier. I was like, yeah, these are Yeah, pretty, they're a little special. They're pretty they're pretty soft, <laughs> dude. Those are soft. Yeah. Right, they'll surprise you. You gotta feel this. Just kidding, can't do that because the internet. What kind of horsepower does it make? So this car, 240 horsepower at the crank is where they're rated at. And Damn. with it being stock, that's still where she's at. Damn, that's quite a bit for something that doesn't have a lot of weight behind it. I agree. What does it weigh? I agree. This car is about 2,500 pounds. Okay, like nothing. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. So so it's power to weight ratio is really, really impressive. And then we keep everything ultra cool with the Hess radiator in the rear. And we do the three fans set up on them. And that keeps the engine running crystal cool. Generally, you've, you know, your radiator is mounted up front, but whenever you, in rocky conditions, you can, you can pierce that thing pretty oh, easily. Yeah. So the relocation kit to the rear, which you can still see the unpainted welded at King of the Hammers without much power bars, yeah. but we made it work. Tell us about some of the features you have. Yeah, this car's super stock. So we don't have, you know, generally we'd have a, 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 a guard right here, but we don't even have that. This. Does that affect you when you're racing? Oh yeah. Like quite a bit? Just gotta I man up and take it. When he says man up and take it, he means rocks to the face. Yes. Yeah. Oh. That's terrible. That's oh, terrible. That doesn't man. sound fun at all. No. So this model here, it comes with a, the, a big screen in it. It's got full controls and really with this car, Can-Am built a race car with this machine. Mm. It has anti-lag from the factory, so you'll hear really? it. Right, so you'll hear it popping and banging and it sounds like it might be That's broken, sick. but it's oh, just keeping crazy. the turbo lit. It's a different level. Car they manufacturers need to take notes. You know who you're racing today, right? Oh yeah. RJ Anderson. Oh, absolutely. How do you feel about it? Well, RJ's always fast. You know he's always coming with it. And he's in a Pro 4, so mm -hmm. I'm anxious to see how this is going to go, honestly. Well, we wish you luck out there. I need all of it. Get <laughs> after it, buddy. Get after it. Let's do it. What's up everybody, I'm Chris Forsberg and we're here on an episode of This Versus That Off-Road and we have a very special guest, RJ Anderson with the freshest of rigs from his garage, as you can tell, very brand new, never been driven before, right? The yeah, I would, I would say she's been a, <laughs> don't mind that, she's been ridden hard and put away wet a few few too many times. Oh. Originally built in 2016, my uh, short course Pro 4 off-road race truck, so four wheel drive, purpose built for basically short course track.
Where's the engine on these? Yes. It's four wheel drive, but it's, it's I see the cleaner back a, here. 100% chromoly <laughs> chassis. And one thing people always ask is like, what is it, a Ford Chevy? Basically it's built in a box. There's like a small rule book that we have to follow and mm -hmm. it just has to be kind of this wide, kind of this long, kind of this tall. So not one spec pivot point on this thing. It's all kind of custom, hand built, really? two chassis, two spec. And the engine sits right in the heart of the beast. So mm -hmm. um, it's considered a front engine still, but it sits just a little bit, kind of like where it is in a daily drive where it's set. You're a little bit closer just because of the dynamics of the vehicle, but you're basically wrestling that thing the whole time. Now, as far as suspension goes, you say you can move the pivot points wherever you want, but what is the travel like? Is that a set spec? Yeah, so in, in this class specifically, the max you can run in the front is 18 inches of travel. We're That's actually even, a lot. We're actually <laughs> even a little bit shorter than that. So we have it choked up a bit just, just to get maximum angle out of our CVs because there is a front diff in this, because yep, the way it yep. droops. Um, we sit at only 10 inches of ride height, so that's the bare <laughs> minimum. So we're, our, our it's, butts, it's the lowest and our rig butts are all the way so at the bottom. So like you could barely fit your shoe under it. So they're really slammed to the ground, mostly for the corner speeds. Not traditionally gonna maybe help on a course like this, but yeah. um, up front we have independent front suspension. So dual A-arm, uh, mm -hmm. both shocks, bypass and coil over mm -hmm. go to the lower A-arm. So the front's kind of a traditional J-arm type A-arm and mostly it's all packaged kind of around that diff. It's it's actually based off a of GM HD 2500, like old school <laughs> diff. You would never imagine. I know I brought it up oh, earlier, it. but that's the case that's in this thing. So to handle the horsepower. So if you pop one, you can just head on down. You just head on to your local apart. dealership. Yeah, you're good. Pick apart junkyard, yeah, something no like that. And um, yeah, you've got some brand new wheels on here. Look like, you know, only been curved once or twice. One thing about short course racing, it is not one one for pretty and nice equipment. So yeah. we go, it's like UFC fighting in a truck <laughs> with each other out there. So as you can see, they've been through, uh, that's just other contact with other <laughs> other <laughs> wheels and tires yeah, on, the, on nice. the course. So um, They just yeah, want to hang out. Running a 17 inch Walker Evans beadlock with a mm -hmm. 35 inch Project BFG. Uh, this was actually a race tire. I was going to say, what is up with these tires? They look like Legos. Started as 100% slick and someone hand grooves these with a hot tire iron to 100% our specification. So whether you want more steering grooves, whether you want more forward mm -hmm. bite grooves, 100% customizable. They actually are banned and we have to run a DOT tire now, but uh, oh. hey, there was wasn't much rules here for this versus that. <laughs> Obviously, all your coolers in the back helping offset the weight, right? Trying to get this thing nice and balanced. Uh, what is the weight balance on this thing, front to rear? So we're running uh, about 52% rear weight. So oh, okay. um, yeah, so it's a pretty balanced yeah. car. We try to get as much front traction as possible, but running about 52%. So a little bit more rear weight for that traction, but That's fairly good. balanced overall. Like you said, three link in the back now? Yep. That's so just, we, uh, we, preference for you? This car originally came with a six link and there was bars <laughs> going every which way. You couldn't even get in there to work <laughs> like, on it. What? So not only did they go every which way, but the truck pointed every which way when you yeah. Drove it. So threw that all in the trash, went to a more conventional three link. So this is more of a just standard like you'd see in a pre-runner truck. Mm. And then you'll notice these such massive coolers. Well, yeah. because of the roost and everything we're getting, it doesn't get a ton of direct airflow. Yeah. So these coolers are really leaned over because it can't take the rocks and the mud getting straight to it. Mm -hmm. All these fans, this is solely radiator. So this is solely to cool the water temp of the engine because we're oh. running it. Uh, our rev limiter is at 8,800 RPM in this thing. Solid. So this thing's uh, screaming. <laughs> So it needs all of these fans just to cool the water temp down, mostly because it's not getting direct air. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, I should uh, take some of that into our drift cars because we get pack them full of rubber and all the time. Shield, right? Yeah, it's insane. All the amenities inside. Clearly, this thing is just. <laughs> Built for business. <laughs> There's not a lot going on. Yep. So you got a steering wheel. Looks like a handbrake, right? Yep. And then, um, yeah, just a start button, really. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. I mean, everything, every tube around me is, is inch and three quarter chromoly tubing, 120 wall. So anything I could touch, basically, um, mm -hmm. built for safety. And then, yeah, steering wheel. Got the shifter to run it through the gears. Um, a rear brake only down here. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that's mostly just used for loading it on the trailer when a foot's on the clutch, oh. and then your other foot's on the throttle. Okay. We can use the rear brake only, but because because of of the gearbox, um, I would have to push in the clutch every time I pull the rear brake only so it doesn't lock up the tires and Wait, stall, stall the engine. No, full six speed gearbox no in it. Way. So it's got an Albin's ST6 Wicked. in it. Um, one thing cool too off the line is um, I clutch jump off the line. So I'll actually start in second gear, get it up in the revs and start in second gear. So dump it. all pretty simple. It's all ran off Motec. So I don't got to mm -hmm. worry about fans. I don't got to worry about anything. All self managed. You know, it uh, doesn't look that cozy. Uh, so why don't we send off a jump or two? Let's jump it. All right.
if I've learned anything, people with all these stickers don't mean anything. This dude's from the South. I'm never betting against the, the South, anybody from Florida, or anybody who's served in any type of war. So I'm going with this. Oh, uh, you know I'm rooting for my boy RJ in the Pro 4. That thing is uh, just beaten and battered, but it's gonna win today. <laughs> hey, Justin. Dude, I don't freaking know. They, I think they're both gonna do good. I just Bet with your I heart. just want everybody to have fun. No, I just ain't about fun no more. <laughs> RJ, let's go RJ. I'm gonna go with RJ. So I'm gonna go with the side by side. Oh, dang, this has got some pressure on me. I haven't felt this kind of heat before in a prediction, but I, I think the NOS race car is gonna win. Feel bad for Corey. Not a butter knife to a machine gun fight here. The berm. Oh yeah. yeah. Full, full, oh, full, full berm. berm. Yeah, full berm. Yeah, right. the closest right. thing of the day. Board. That was brutal, dude. Oh that my gosh. Up. We made a mistake. <laughs> we thought this was faster. You know, uh, the Pro 4 is pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> I had all my faith in that Formula One of a jumping truck show. When he came, I didn't know it sounded like that. It just rolled into the <laughs> spot. I'm yeah, sorry. He was beating into my soul. On yeah. the <laughs> What are you Mario doing? Andretti that was what are you doing? That was psychotic. <laughs> I was going for big air off the last jump. You did yeah, it. you did. You did it. <laughs> kind of just like overshot the whole land. <laughs> it was in, <laughs> we were really concerned on how it would take the whoops. Uh, it takes them super fast. Yeah. Right over I the top. I grabbed gear before him so I could stay on top. It's insane. <laughs> So since freaking Nas Energy 3000 came through and decimated Can-Am, man, he has to start right there and Can-Am just, just goes. And I'm praying through the grace of whatever God he believes in that he can hang on because that, that's like freaking, you know when you play Mario Kart and you turn into the bomb and it just goes straight to the finish line? <laughs> just that damn truck. No. Oh! Round two.
Dude, that was Holy. the sickest run I've ever <laughs> seen. Dude, what, what the hell? Who this loser? I swear to God. <laughs> I didn't lose Mr. Flagman too bad, did I? Nah, no, no, he's, he's fine. Okay. He'll yeah. be fine. Don't you worry about it. I told him to go the other way. <laughs> The wrong so way. We're gonna try and like split the difference. That was pretty far back. Yeah! yeah. We're gonna scoot you into the berm a little bit more <laughs> yeah. this time. Give you a little more run. He's gonna leave off you. So you get the hit too. You get the hit. Get the You're hit. gonna be up there. Hey, okay. hey, hey, no, no. Give him half berm. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Okay, yeah, making sure. Where have you been? I was showing T yeah, what it sounded right. like from the, my experience. Ah, gotcha. Oh. <laughs> All right, run it back. Pro 4 fly over <laughs> What? I just grabbed the gear and set the last one wide open. <laughs> Dude, on the camera, you you come into frame and you just keep going up. You exit, you exit frame. It's amazing. <laughs> Freaking wicked. Any dude that wear gas station sunglasses is gonna mop you up. <laughs> Give you a head start. I'm just worried about safety. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 